Hey, so this is Joshua with Dust of the Earth. In this video, I want to explain a little bit about fast oxidation versus slow oxidation. So if you've been looking into it, hair tissue mineral analysis and mineral balancing, either as a practitioner or as it, someone seeking um, its service, then you've probably ran into this, this kind of terminology. It, fast oxidation versus slow oxidation. Also could be um said me metabolizer and so like a lot of people this is verbiage that most people are are familiar with um fat either you're a fast metabolizer or you have a slow metabolism right um and this is a little bit different although it, it does stem from pretty much the same thing in the 1970s there was a man named george watson who was he he discovered something really important in in medical history he he discovered that people were either fast oxidizers or slow oxidizers. And he did, and he determined that based on certain odor tests and then later went on to use blood because a fast oxidizer has acidic blood, whereas the slow oxidizer has a more um, alkaline blood. And so it's, it's an interesting concept. Um, people either are one or the other. They can be a little bit of a mix of both, but that's, that's not for our time here. The thing is, is fast oxidizers have a set of symptoms and set of personality traits and certain um, ways that they're just affected by life, whereas slow oxidizers have different right? And so that's really interesting when it comes to sort of self-diagnosis and symptomatology and just kind of understanding ourselves, right? And understanding other people. So once you kind of understand fast and slow oxidation, you'll notice certain people in your life are this way or that way. You, you'll notice that you start to sort of, in, in a fun way, um, categorize people in this certain way. Because um, the, the fast oxidizer is sort of like the, you know, the, the hair that just is running and running and running and running and running and it's just sort of clever, but just like not near as wise and thought out and, and, um, is easily stressed, irritated and stuff like that, where, you know, the type A personality comes to mind, whereas the slow oxidizer is, uh, is more like the tortoise and is, and is, um, just the slow going, going harder to excite, um, and has their own um, kind of thing. So we're going to get into right now how uh, we determine slow versus fast oxidation types on a hair tissue mineral analysis. Okay, so first off, when we're looking at a hair tissue mineral analysis, this is what Dr. Eck put forward. He discovered um, how to take George Watson's concepts of fast and slow oxidation and actually find their correlations using the hair tissue biopsy that he was using. Um, and he also did a, a really unique correlation where he discovered that the, uh, George Watson's um, fast oxidation type actually was congruent with the um, stress, alarm stage of stress of Hans Selye. So it, it was a, kind of an exciting thing, but that's nothing to geek out about. Um, what's important is looking at how do, how do we determine on a hair tissue mineral analysis, how, um, whether or not you're fast or slow oxidizer. So I'm going to share my screen right here. Right, so this is a few HTMAs. These are real people, a few of my clients. I just grabbed right out of my email, redacted their information, but they're you know, they're good cases in point of how you look at fast or slow oxidation on a hair test. So first off, the most ostensible thing that we notice is we notice that the calcium well, on a, with a slow oxidizer, a calcium and magnesium are higher than the sodium and potassium. That's just sort of the most obvious way to, to look at this. Whereas conversely, a, a fast oxidizing person is going to have the exact opposite, a high sodium and potassium and a low calcium and magnesium, right? And so another, another other ways that this can look at with just lower so this person's um, 
got a very low sodium and potassium, but not an extremely high calcium and magnesium, right? Um, and also right here, very, very high uh, calcium. That's a calcium shell. You can look at one of my other YouTube videos to um, hear a little um, brief introduction of what ca the calcium shell pattern is. Um, and let me see if I can click on this one right here. All right. So, yep, just like that other one. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how to look at it. Now, other ways to look at it, the more accurate way to look at it, to, to really measure how fast or slow someone is, the labs usually have something at the bottom, you know, marking what they think this person is. Sometimes the labs differ on how to gauge the Trace Elements Labs looks only at this ratio, whereas this lab, um, Analytical Research Labs, looks at the calcium to potassium ratio and the um, so, uh, sodium to magnesium ratio. These ratios tell us um, how fast or slow the adrenal and thyroid glands are. Right, so with a slow oxidizer, you're going to have a, a high, um, a high calcium to potassium thyroid ratio, and a low adrenal ratio. So that means their adrenals are slow, and their thyroid is slow. Whereas with a a fast oxidizer, let me find him. Um, so that, that is another thing. I didn't mean to jump on this point just yet, but fast oxidizers. So children are usually fast oxidizers, right? Um, they, people, children are supposed to be fast oxidizers from the time that they're born up into eight and then start to slow down. Um, you know, that's kind of why they're like just, just full of energy, right? And when uh when you get older you're, you're supposed to slow down well some people they don't slow down they basically stay fast for a really really long time and that's more often men um women tend to slow down um before men do and so, and most men that are uh most people who are fast oxidizers when they're older are men that's not to say that you can't get like a 70 year old woman who's a fast oxidizer um, but that's more um, a person who's probably a little bit out of balance. You want to be, as an adult person, either a mild slow or a mild fast. And so if you're a really slow oxidizer, we want to speed you up. And if you're a really fast oxidizer, we want to help you calm down. You know, it, this is what these people are already trying to accomplish. So it's not like I'm trying to slow some highly energetic person down. But I noticed that fast oxidizers, they love things that slow them down. They love to, um, I mean, they don't like to slow down. They don't like to park their butts on the couch and actually like do things to, to um, engage in uh, slow activity because that's not their, their temperament. But they do like to do things like smoke marijuana or, <laughs> or, um, or you know, uh, uh, drink alcohol, things that just like um, engage the sympathetic nervous system. They love things like magnesium, you know, and so a, a fast oxidizer, they're going to do a lot better. They have a really low calcium magnesium. That's because the sodium and potassium burn out calcium and magnesium. And so calcium and magnesium are extremely important. Really low magnesium, for instance, is, is linked to heart attack. Um, so you don't want these people to burn out their chill out re mineral reserves, right? Because they eventually go kaput. And, and, and the body's way to help them not um, just crash and burn is by putting them in a stage of burnout where they, it, the body will pump the brakes and slow them down. And, and then they become a slow oxidizer. Right. And so that's sort of a slow oxidizer is a, is a stage of, of burnout. It's a way that your body's paradigm is shifting to help you not burn yourself out so much. 
right? But people get so toxic um, that they they become very, 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 very slow, and and then they're they're cold. They feel cold all the time. They feel depressed all the time. They're just you know brain fogged and fatigued, and they're feeling lots of aches and pains, and they're more in a more yin state. And so we need to give this these people the more yang minerals, the, the minerals that are going to raise sodium and potassium, the vi- the B vitamins, the um, the adrenal glands, thyroid glands, they uh, and kelp to help raise these people's energy. And then we we just track that over the course of months, watching that calcium, magnesium go down, the sodium and potassium go up. And that's basically the heart of mineral balancing. There's other things that we do, and there are so many uh, more patterns. And there's other things, including mix oxidation for lows patterns, for highs patterns, um, and you know a lot of ways that the oxidation type can look. But these two basic patterns could be just understood in this way. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, I pre- definitely enjoyed making this video. It's a uh, near and dear to me uh, topic because not a lot of people know about fast and slow oxidation. But once you kind of understand these concepts, um, it, it you just understand yourself so much more. You know, when you're when you're uh, a slow oxidizer, you 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 feel it. You know, you if you understand the the tri- traditional Chinese concepts of yin and yang, like you feel yin, you feel weak, you feel um, uh, you you feel more sort of um, yin is is like it's it's wet and damp and um, and stagnant, right? And so it's more more like a moldy basement <laughs> where. Uh, Yang is, uh, fast oxidation is like the house is on fire, you know? And so it's a difference between cold and wet and hot and burning basically. And so, you know, when, when, when I work with people in all, all different kinds of, of states, right. But I always can tell, you know, right off the bat when I'm, when I'm working with a fast oxidizer, that they're in an uncomfortable state. So um, if their calcium and magnesium are really low and their sodium and potassium are really high, like they're going to love me when I give them the minerals that they need. And, you know, vice versa, a toxic, slow oxidizer is totally burned out. Like I know exactly what to give that person to raise their energy and make them feel better. Each each person's going to dump a little bit more toxins and have a an off day where they're not feeling so good, but by and large, um, mineral balancing programs are fantastic. There's nothing like finding the unique exact right molecule for your biology and plugging that right in and starting to, uh, replete those deficiencies and making yourself just feel so much better. So wanted to impart that. Thanks for watching. Um, if this is on YouTube, please like, and subscribe. And, um, you know, leave a comment either on YouTube or Facebook if you're a fast or slow oxidizer and what your experience has been with that. So take care. God bless. Thank you.